What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so... Well, we're in the intro right here. Or the, 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 the startup page, because, well, we entered the battle park, or the battle area, and I came to realize something, that, you know what, maybe we should uh, continue our adventure with our Pokemon from Fire Red. If you guys don't remember, a few episodes ago, I mentioned to you guys that, yes, I managed to save a slot, a, a file of, uh, you know, my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough before I traded the Pokemon back and forth, before I migrated them to Pokemon Heart Gold. And it turns out that I actually saved the slot or saved the file with both the Pokemon from Fire Red and Emerald. So let's go right ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and migrate these guys. Now, in this game, we can actually, we we actually can go through the Pal Park, and uh, you know, we can go to the Pal Park and actually get these Pokemon from uh, from the game. And uh, it looks like to me, this is Box Five. Let's see, I could have sworn it was a Box Six or something. Hold on, just a sec. Holy crap! Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, so it turns out that I got all my Pokemon here. Now. Again, you have to understand this, guys. Make sure, if you if you want to do this onto the disc Mume, you got to make sure to go straight into the configure box right here. And if you see the slot 2, that is the GBA slot, from there you'll be able to actually find the area right here where you can actually get your uh, your games into this, into this system right here. Once you do that, you will be able to migrate the Pokemon. As you guys can already tell, I'm gonna migrate the same exact Pokemon I migrated from Pokemon Heart Gold, or yeah, to Pokemon Heart Gold. And, well, I'm gonna try and get all six of them right here. Uh, let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna go with the Emerald version first. So, we have chosen six Pokemon right here. And that is my Pokemon Emerald wa walkthrough uh, Pokemon team right here. So, we're gonna migrate them. And then from there, we're gonna go straight into the Pal Park, capture them, and then migrate the ones from Pokemon Fire Red. So, I'll see you guys in just a little bit going into the Pal Park. Okay, so here we are, guys, back in the fight area. And what we're gonna be doing right now is we're gonna. Hold off on this, and we're gonna go straight to. We're gonna go straight back down to, let's see, Sand Gym Town because we need to get to the Pal Park. So, the Pal Park is not that far. It finally opens up once you defeat the Elite Four. And, uh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of trainers around here, so just make sure to bring a lot of repels. Uh, bring a lot of, uh, you know, just bring a lot of repels and bring whatever Pokemon you, ha you guys have. So, what's going to happen here is... Let's see... Uh, yeah, we got quite a few Max Repels. If you guys don't remember, a few episodes ago, we went into the Pokemon League and we... Yeah, we got our butts kicked by Cynthia and all that stuff, so... Yeah. Anywho... Here we have level 31 Pokemon. I'm just gonna mess... I'm just gonna destroy them all. As you guys can see, Toothless has no mercy for nobody. And here comes a Shellos and... Uh, well, a Shellos and a Meryl. So, let's go right ahead and do the same thing. Yes, we are overpowering our Pokemon, and just like that, we win. So, anywho, what what got me to actually do this right now? Like, right now, right now. That is that, you know, hey, uh, we're going to be going up against the Elite Four yet again. And they're going to be strong as heck, so I might as well get the Pokemon who are ready now. Go straight into the fight area and just beat everybody. And then make an all-star team of whatever Pokemon I have right here. Because as you guys can already tell, the Pokemon Emerald team is not that far off from my Pokemon Platinum team. And if I really want to go, like, god mode on these guys, then I can just go straight for uh, put my Pokemon Fire Red team and just sweep them all. But I, I do want to incorporate all three teams together and make a pretty good team out of it. So let's go right ahead and just uh, beat everybody and uh, make another episode of this, okay? So here we're going to be finding another item, a, a splash plate, which, you know, this can actually be given to Arceus later on. And, uh, well, let's see, there is another item right there. Maybe it might be a, a rare candy or something. And no, it is a Max Repel. Now, the funny thing is that we've already seen all the Pokemon that uh, Sinnoh has to offer, so we don't have to worry about, like, missing out on a trainer here and there. 
we're just gonna straight up battle him, and of course, protect is gonna hit us. And here comes a Gastrodon, so let's continue on with a Giga Drain. And just like that, you have been defeated, my friend. And well, let's go right here, grab this, and well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and find some items right here, guys. Now, let's see. Is there anything else that I I, I I could be doing right now? Now, I don't know if you can migrate Pokemon from Pokemon Fire or, like, from the original versus to Pokemon Black and White, but once I find out, then that will be an option. Again, I saved, I saved my file uh, quite a few times. That way, that way I can actually use these Pokemon over and over again uh, for every single one of these versions right here, so... Yeah, I was actually thinking about that before I did that to Pokemon uh, Heart Gold, and that was the, you know, you gotta save these these Pokemon, because remember, once you migrate the Pokemon, you cannot get them back to the original ver version, so, yeah, that saves me a lot of trouble, and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and switch out to Electrostar right here, and let's go ahead and battle everybody. Now, the other thing too, guys, if you're migrating Pokemon into either Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Platinum, uh, Diamond and Pearl, and all that stuff, make sure to delete any HM moves they may have because those HM moves may not be the same ones that you know go into the next generation right here. I don't know why that is. Just you know, that's that's how it's done. And well, I see uh, an item right there, and here we found ourselves a protein, which is great, and. Well, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. And we got two Pokemon, so let's go with a Giga Drain. And just like that, Rosemon grows a level 54. And, well, let's give Electrostar a little bit of love here, too. Go with a Thunderbolt attack right here. And bam. Okay. So let's see. I could go right here, but these rocks make it so hard and stuff. Giggity. And, well, another Max Repel wouldn't hurt her. So... Here we go again, and we're going to be battling everybody else. So, now, the backup plan to this whole thing, too, was that if I, like, if I if I didn't succeed in what I was doing, then I was going to go into my old Pokemon Leaf Green uh, walkthrough and just get the Pokemon from there. From there, you'll, you'll probably be seeing, like, Charizard, you know, Godzilla, Godzilla, Aaliyah, all them, but, you know, since we, we were kind of going linear on the whole, like, you know, the, the whole games and all that stuff. Well, shoot. Might as well bring the ones that I had in the previous versions that I've been recently playing. And here we're playing this Ace Trainer. And, well, she's coming out with a Charim. So let's go with Togepri. And that Petal Dance will not work on us. So here goes with a Flamethrower attack. Azumarill. Azumarill is coming out. And, well, let's go with a Thunderbolt for the win. And Lopunny is a Pokemon that, yeah, it... May not look like much, but it is something, and there we go. There we go. there it is. Defeat that Pokemon. Look at that. Free berries. Not the berry that you know we're talking about right here. So this is berries with an E, but then you got the berries with the with the A. I don't know, what's the difference? And well, let's go right ahead and just speed through this whole thing, because we still need to get to the pal park. And right here you'll be finding this guy. And here he comes with a Togachick. And let's go the Sludge Bomb for the win. And just like that, we win. I think I mentioned to you guys that... Yeah, I think I mentioned to you guys that... Once we get into the next versions of this game... Holy crud, like, uh, what was it called? Uh, once we get to the 3DS versions of the game, it's going to be harder for us to actually do the speed buttoning. So I'm going to have to try and figure out something where, like, you know, it actually helps us out. We speed up the game just a little. Or, better yet, just take our time. Could be one of the two. And here we find ourselves the TM81 X Scissors. Not a bad move. And here we are, the Pal Park, a place of new beginnings. And, well, Professor Oak is waiting for us right here. He's going to be like, ah, Draven, this is it. This is the Pal Park. Pokemon from around the country can be brought here. In other words, Pokemon from places like Kanto and Hoenn, this place also happens to be where you can uh, compete uh, to see how quickly you can catch those Pokemon. Hmm, it's good to see that you've come to join us at a visit. Let me make a gift of this trainer uh, counter app for your Pokétech. And here we have a trainer counter, I guess. And a trainer counter app, uh, yeah, I guess it, it gets the rankings and all that stuff, so, okay. Alright, so he's gonna get the heck out of here, and, well, 
The next thing we need to do is do what we did in Pokemon Heart Gold. Welcome to the Paul Park. This is where top-notch trainers come to demonstrate their Pokemon catching techniques to their peers. Oh, are you maybe ah, you're Draven? We've heard all about we've heard all the rumors about you. Where it is that you're the hotshot trainer? We'd be honored if you would you would participate in our catching shows. Yes, you agreed to participate. It's happy days for uh, for me. Let's not waste any time. Let me explain how the Pelopark works. I wrote the Pelopark manual for situations like this. What should I explain? So the basic rules right here is Pelopark is a place where you can you are timed on catching six Pokemon. You are provided six special Pokeballs for the challenge. Participating trainers are required to supply the six Pokemon that are, be, are to be caught. If you do not supply the stock of six Pokemon, you are not able to participate in the catching show. And then the catching show, of course, is at the start of the catching show, you will be given six Park Balls. Use the Park Balls to catch the six Pokemon you provide, and then stocking Pokemon. You may, you may make Pokemon migrate from Kanto or Hoenn. Doing so will stock your catching game. Insert a Game Boy Advance from uh, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, or Leaf Green in the game uh, pack slot. When your DS is turned on, currently caught Pokemon can migrate from the, uh, the game pack to the DS card. And that is pretty much it. So let's go right ahead and get those Park Balls. And, well, Barry has 2,000 points, so we're going to we're gonna literally destroy his record right here. Okay. So, here it is. We are in the Pal Park in Sinnoh, and, well, the Pokemon, or the Pokeballs that you guys get are the Park Balls. They're basically Master Balls. All you need to do is just capture these Pokemon, and as you guys can see, we got Raiden right here. Raiden is our good old buddy, uh, what was it called? Uh, yeah, he, he, I forgot his name. Literally forgot his name, but you know he's Raiden. And he's at level 51, and yes, we caught him. Oh my god, yes. Yes, we are going to be capturing all 12 of these Pokemon, and then from the next to the next episode, we're going to be making an all-star team, see see if we can actually just, like, destroy Sinnoh with, with the, what we got. Now, make sure to go through everything, guys. Grass, water, everything, because these Pokemon could be hiding, depending on their typing and all that stuff. And, well, what I'm going to do right here is, I'm going to speed it up, because here we have Joust. And Joust has been caught right here. So now... We gotta go somewhere else, and, uh... Huh. They could be right here, too. Could have been right here. Hmm. Who was my starter? Oh, yeah! Sceptile. It was it was Sceptile, and, well... Here we have Vesuvius. Ground and Fire-type Pokémon. And Dalsim. The Fighting and Psychic-type Pokémon. Another very, very good Pokémon that, you know, I actually liked having on my team. So that right there is what, five Pokemon? Let's see. How about right here? And here is Sceptile, Sage of the Halo. And no, that is actually, this is gonna be my fifth Pokemon. So there we go with Sage of the Halo. Now we gotta find our good old buddy, uh, Hadouken, I believe, yes. So we're gonna go through every, every spot right here. And it looks like he's hiding somewhere. These Pokemon usually take a long time to actually find, so excuse me if I cuss a little or anything like that. So let's go. Come on, where are you? Sage of the Halo. Or no, not Sage of the Halo. Halukin. And, well, it's not right here. So what if we go right here? It is a Dragon-type Pokemon, and, well, just like that, we found Hadouken. And bam, we caught Hadouken. That completes our our Pal Park uh, adventure for the first Hoenn Pokemon. And congratulations, it's all six Pokemon caught. The audience sure enjoyed watching your catching show. All right, let's see your, own, your all important uh, score from this uh, show. Catching points is 450, seven, uh, 1760 time points, and then 1500 for total points. And that is, oh wow, we defeat, we, we crush Barry. We literally crush Barry. Cannot wait to see him again, that way I can kick his ass. And so, we have boxed away our Pokemon. And now, it is time for us to migrate the Pokemon from Fire Red. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back in the Pal Park. Now, a quick disclaimer, guys. If you want to capture multiple Pokemon, like multiple sets of teams and all that stuff, you have to go through a full day in order to use the Pal Park. So I advanced the day by, I guess, two, just to be just to be safe around here. 
And, uh, well, it is finally time for us to actually capture these Pokemon, so let's go ahead and enter and capture ourselves the last six Pokemon that we need. And that is the Kanto Pokemon. And look at this, we got Smasher at level 71. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, okay? So, you've already used most of these Pokemon in, uh, in Pokemon Heart Gold. That is true. Now that we got three sets of Pokemon, three sets of teams and all that stuff, I... I really, really want to use a, a nice array of Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of want to... I want to use different types of Pokemon. So it looks like to me I'm probably going to be doing like two, two, and two. And here we have Blastoise. And... Like two, two, and two. Like, we got six... Like, what was it? Three generations. Six Pokemon. So we could probably do that if we wanted to. It just depends on what, like... Who, who's going to be in and out and all that stuff, and to me, I have an idea of who I want on my Sinnoh team. It's just the Hoenn team, I don't know who who's going to stay, and, uh... Well, these Pokemon are going to be hard to find, and here we have Smoke. And Smoke has been captured easily, so... Now we got three Pokemon to go right here. Now, which Pokemon did I capture in the, in the Kanto region? Oh, yes! Big Booty Buckus. And there he is, Big Booty Book is showing his booty because, you know, he's got the bootylicious booty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and find our last Pokemon right here. And it should be right here somewhere. Come on. I know you want to be on my team in the Sinnoh region, you know, the dreaded Sinnoh region. Come on. And I gotta be, I gotta be, like, safe about this. Okay, here we go. And... Huh. Who didn't I capture? Okay. Oh, yeah, Jolteon. I completely forgot about Jolteon. So, Jolteon might not be there. It might be right here somewhere. There you go. Okay, so here's Jolteon. And just like that, we have captured all six of these Pokemon. And, well, I'm feeling great about that. Let's see. So, we caught all six. The audience sure enjoyed watching your show. And, well, let's see. And it looks like we... I think we... Oh, wow. We didn't break our record, so... Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, wait. Would you like to do the same with the same Pokemon? Oh, crap. Okay, so I might have to... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Yes. In the PC. Okay, so... You are now in the PC, my friends. And let's go right ahead and take a look at our... At all 12 of our Pokemon right here. Okay. So, look at this, guys. All 12 Pokemon are here with us. Hoenn and Kanto can't believe that I actually have all these guys right here with me. So, let's see. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fix them up to where they're at. And... Man, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm kind of wondering, like, who is going to stay on the team? Who's gonna benefit me? Who's gonna help me in the long run? You know, that kind of stuff. So, let's see. Here we got Dalsim. Okay. So, here we have both teams from both regions. Let's go ahead and take a look at Leonardo. He is a water type Pokemon and as you guys can see has his basic stats right here. Only has two moves because it, it's uh, original move set was Surf and Waterfall. Had to delete those and it does have a champion ribbon from winning another another region. Now let's go with Big Booty Budkiss. Pure fire type right here. Intimidate is his thing and it does have three moves because it had, it had strength Tornado right here had fly and yes, it was a very very fast Pokemon very physical too Then we got Jolteon with Volt Absorb restores HP if hit by electric type moves look at that It has some pretty good moves right there, too And then here we have good old Smasher with Poison Point and yes It does have some pretty good moves right here too. Rock Slide, Body Slam, Earthquake, Super Power and then the next Pokemon is Sage of the Halo as you guys can see, it does have Leaf Blade, Screech, and Earthquake. Hadouken, Crunch, Dragon Claw, Toxic, Raiden, Shockwave, Thunderbolt. It's just a pure electric type Pokemon that I might not be using. Joust with Crunch and Ice Beam. Vesuvius, the Fire and Ground type Pokemon with Rock Slide, Amnesia, Eruption, and Earthquake. Dalsim, High Jump Kick, Psychic, and Calm Mind. And then we got Smoke. Which has Psychic, Double Team, Shadow Ball, and Curse. So, there you have, there you guys have it. We have 18 Pokemon on our team right here. So let me, uh, let me, uh, let, let's go right ahead and put these guys right here. I, I want to see something right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and put these guys here. 
So, let's go ahead and put uh, Chansey with us. It does have the Oval Stone, so that's a pretty rare Pokemon. Let's go ahead and sh let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go put this, put Rosemon. Let's put, let's go ahead and compare and contrast everything. Okay, so to me, I have a habit of having Electric type Pokemon, and here's a Fire type. In this game, I do not have a uh, I have Fire type Pokemon. So let's see. I know for a fact that Toothless is probably going to be the one that stays because. This Pokemon is a tank when it comes to everything. Hadouken is at level 66, so it shouldn't have any problems or anything like that. And let's go with our starter. Our starter's going to be right here. Wow, I'm like organizing everything. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Wow, we, we definitely, yeah, we definitely just like, we have a pattern. We literally have a pattern right here. And, well, let's go right here with uh, Togepri, Empoleon, Poseidon, and, nope, our last Pokemon to, to, to show, we got Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay, so, as you guys can see right here, we have 18 Pokemon total, three sets of teams, and as you guys can see, I kind of want to do like a 2-2-2 two, two, and two thing, where I get two... Two Pokemon from the Sinnoh re region, two from Kanto, and two from uh, from uh, the Hoenn region. And it, it's got to make perfect sense right here because it's like, okay, now that I'm looking at it, I might choose... I might just choose... Uh, what was it called? I might just choose a Gaia and Toothless from this squad right here because they're both unique. One being psychic and fighting, much better than what I had in the other version. And then we got dragon and ground type, so that takes it away. In this one, I'm definitely going to be taking Leonardo, but who do, who else do I take? It's kind of like... Okay, so maybe I should just go with Shocker, or I could go with Smoke. It's 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 a really, really, really hard decision, guys, because it's like, okay, now, now that we're taking everything, now we have to pick from this team, and we already took a dragon type, okay? So from there, it's looking like Raiden might get its chance, but I don't want to give it its chance if you know what I mean. I kind of want to take Shocker. <laughs> if I take Shocker, then the fire type has already been taken. So, like, you guys already know where my, like, you, you know what my dilemma is. It's really bad, so I'm going to have to make a decision later on, guys. As far as I'm concerned, I kind of just want to, like, use every single Pokemon and see what happens. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in Pokemon Platinum. See you guys.